Safe, 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 safe. I'm grappling with feelings of rage, but I also have partially reached an acceptance phase of what happened to Allison. You have to return home to Paradise Island. I just got here. And the fact that Danny is still in the competition despite Dream On. Dream on, dream on. Last night, I was so angry, I could have punched a puppy in the face. <laughs> And my husband actually said to me, he was like, I was a little afraid you were gonna throw things. When they showed Danny's ass face during her goodbye performance, I literally screamed and was like, I don't wanna see you! <laughs> you know, it's an injustice, yeah. but here's how I'm comforting myself right now. Allison needs some time to grow up and just be a kid and mature as a person and as an artist and it's probably better for her that she not be thrust into the idol machine yeah. right now. I've heard a lot of things about Hollywood. People call it a jungle. Oh, all I saw was half a dozen sad looking palm trees. I'm comforting myself thinking that sometime around Thanksgiving, I'll be able to purchase her major label debut. That's true. And that next season on Idol, when she's topping the charts, they'll invite her back and they won't invite back Danny because he'll be, you know, Too playing Too busy at county Six Fair. Flags. Six Flags side stage. <laughs> all season long, we've heard the judges talking about song choice. Mm -hmm. They beat Lil with that song choice stick all yeah. season. And yet Danny picks Dream On. Both in voice and in persona and in swagger, Danny did not have the goods to do that. He's never had the goods nope. to do that. He never will have the goods to do that. It would be like Chris singing Ave Maria. Yeah. You know, if he sang that, they would be like, what the hell are you what doing? Are you doing? Yeah. And yet somehow Danny gets a free ride. I like to see growth and I like to see risks. My feeling was that he was trying to channel Adam Lambert. <laughs> he knew Rock Week was gonna be Adam's big moment. Right. And I think that he thinks that he's every bit as good, if not better than Adam. <laughs> It's funny because Adam gets criticism for being a screamer. This sort of sheds a light on the whole screamer debate. Like, yeah. it's not easy to scream. It's not easy to like sort of scream have your musically scream and have musically. A, have a note be there. And not just have it be the sound of getting your limbs ripped off by farm equipment, which is what it sounded like. <laughs> You know, that's the one thing I find entertaining about Danny, which is his complete lack of self-awareness in terms of his lack of talent. And limitations. And limitations. Yeah. He thinks he is so good. I feel like with this song that I can go for bigger things than I've ever done before. It's like they let one of those people from the bad audition episodes who is, you know, <laughs> like criminally tone deaf and they're like, what? I'm a good singer. All my family says I'm a good singer. It's like that guy's in the top three. <laughs> I know that I am the best vocalist in this room, so I can't imagine the hard time they're gonna give everyone else. And his delusion gets worse because yeah. the judges are always like, like yeah, good job, A for effort. I'll give you an A plus for a valiant effort. A for effort? A plus. 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 A no. plus plus for going there? Going plus. where? <laughs> for like going, going to hell straight to hell. Go back to the abyss. Good try. It's like, what, are you gonna give him a f***ing gold star because he got up there and tried? Is he in preschool? What is going <laughs> on? Is he on some kind of team where nobody keeps score and everybody gets a trophy at the end because they participated? Does everybody get to be the idol because they tried? I'm sorry, even if he was in preschool, if he let out that note, he should have been put in a corner. He would have been. He would have gotten a blue slip. That's what we got in school when we misbehaved. You got a blue slip, you got three blue slips, you went to the office. That kid should be in the office and he should be in detention. Go to the naughty step. <laughs> Super Nanny says, it's not acceptable. <laughs> it's, it's not acceptable. It's not. I put Super Nanny on the panel. Yeah, bitch would keep him in line. She'd be like, what is this behavior that's not acceptable? And you're supposed to, I don't do a British accent, but you're supposed to share on yeah. a duet. You're not no. supposed to hog, hog the stage. And when the guy tries to engage you because you're two people singing together, right. not against each other, no. you should look back at him. You shouldn't sort of be like, give him the side eye and like sort of take up the stage with your that massive was, that ego. That was Mortal Kombat, the duet version. <laughs> it they was, were, yeah. it was, and, and, and one of them came out bloodied. Danny, you were better than Chris, how's that? This is the thing that's really nagging at me. Why do the judges want him 
in the finale. They seem to have invested so heavily in the light versus dark, yeah. the Danny versus Adam, even though there's nothing dark about Adam. Adam no. seems like a heck of a nice guy. Yeah. He has black hair. Mm -hmm. This doesn't make black him like, polish, but... it doesn't make him the devil's child, but they seem to have invested in that from the beginning. Like they have this script, but only one of those contestants has played their part. You know, yeah. Adam has performed remarkably well. Love him or hate him, you can't say that he's ever had a catastrophe no. up there on stage. And he can sing. Yeah. And he has charisma. And people are buzzing about him. And Danny has none of those things. And frankly, at this point, you know, I kind of welcome an Adam-Danny finale because it is going to be in such stark contrast when you see, like, actual performer with charisma and talent versus that guy. Yeah. And that guy's going to get his ass kicked. And you know what? <laughs> I can't wait.